This has been a singular honor of my life. This is a job that I uh, dreamt about in 86. Congressman Gregorio Sablon lived out his dream when he entered office in 2009 as the first delegate in the U.S. House of Representatives from the Northern Mariana Islands. He announced that his eighth term would be his last after working for the people for 16 years in the nation's capital. I have worked hard. I believe I have served the people well. But it's time to pass on that job to another person, someone with new energy, new ideas, and hopefully represent us well for a long time also. During his terms in office, the Democrat increased funding to schools, the hospital, and water and sewer projects. He also expanded federal food and energy assistance for low-income families. His work led to the return of ownership of submerged lands. His legislative impact has also touched immigration, labor, and federal relief. What would you want to be remembered for in your time in Congress? My love for the people, my love for the Marianas. I am, nothing comes possible if you don't have that work, that commitment, that responsibility. And, and in you, uh, for me, it's in my heart. As you know, it's been easy. You know, personally, I've got a, uh, an attitude sometimes that doesn't really fit well in politics. But I speak the truth uh -huh. as much as I can. In his letter announcing that he will not seek re-election, Sablon wrote, and it's not because I've accomplished everything I wanted for the people of our islands. The work is far from done. So what, what work still needs to be done? All equity, parity, if not equity, parity with um, programs across the nation. Uh, that's not an uh, individual effort. He says there are over 700 federal programs that could benefit the Marianas. But now as he wraps up a historic campaign, the focus turns to who's next. People would say uh, the person you support will be the winner. Hello? Excuse me? I don't believe in that. Plus, if you watched all my campaign since the very beginning. I was not associated with groups, I was just with friends, basically. And it's that ground-level organizing that has perhaps made Sablon a political powerhouse in Congress, being able to work with both Republican and Democrat leaders to get the job done. We asked Sablon if he'd endorse anyone this November. I mean, I would vote. I will vote for someone. Uh, endorse? No, no. I don't know, not necessarily. Let's see. Let's let's get the candidates to introduce themselves to the public, and that includes me. Whoever we decide as who is our next delegate is someone that we, I think, we all must allow to do the work and also evaluate from that first two years. But let's, let, I would like the candidates to make their arguments uh, who, why they're, they're the best choice for the people. And uh, of course I'm listening and uh, I'm reading and I'm listening and uh, no, but don't discount that I won't support the Democratic nominee. Just not at this interview. Because you know, Democrats are gonna be in the majority in the House, so I prefer that it, a Democrat selected from here to eternity, if you're asking me. Uh, to ask for the Marianas, the Democratic Party goals and objectives is most beneficial for our people here. While Sablon is leaving his D.C. seat, we asked if he'd ever seek local office. No, oh, no. I think I earned time off. I'm still alive, I'm not dead, but yeah. But you never know, right?
Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.